In this video, I will go over how to do link shading with fluorescence images in LASX. If you are looking to do link shading with color or bright field images, please refer to our other video in this series. It is very common to see uneven illumination when doing tile scans or mosaic scanning in fluorescence images such as this kidney section. There are 12 tiles here, and you can see that within each tile there is uneven illumination across the tile. Even when we merge or stitch the image together, we manage to get rid of a lot of those uneven illumination. However, we still see some dark bands at the edges of those tiles. So to correct for this, we need to use our link shading wizard. The link shading can be found under image, and this box, which is usually white, but right now it's red. So let's uncheck that for now. And then we will go directly to the Acquire tab. Alternatively, you can follow all of these steps if you would like to. So I just go to Acquire, and you can see that the contrast method of fluorescence is already listed, as well as the camera, and the objective that I'm on is highlighted in red. All of these other objectives already have shading references as indicated by the green dot on the tab. So to do the link shading, I need to go to a blank area. So I'll just double click to the blank area and go live. Now the issue with doing link shading in fluorescence is that it's often hard to see if there's any dust or particles in your reference image. So we want to take advantage of our auto range or auto scale and just take a look to make sure that there aren't any bright spots or dust in the field of view. I can defocus a little bit just to make sure. And then I want to hit single reference. When you hit single reference, it will take an image at every bin Okay, so it created a, a reference and now there's a green dot next to our 20x objective. We want to come and activate the link shading. And if we activate the link shading, we can also activate link shading for live image. And you can see that what happens when I check and uncheck this button. So activating link shading for live image will reduce the frame rate of the live view. So if that's important to you, you may want to uncheck this button. The other point I wanted to make is when you do have a shading reference for your objective, you no longer need to do the wizard. You can just go straight to settings and check activate link shading correction. So if you're always doing fluorescence on the 20x and you already have a reference, all you need to do is check this box and you're good to go. Now what I want to do is take an image with that link shading in place. So I'm gonna go back to my region of interest, restore my auto range, go live. Again, my auto scale is too bright, hit stop. And now to acquire the image, I want to zoom out to my full tile and hit start. And now let's look at our final image. So again, this is our raw image before the link shading. This is after the link shading, a lot better. This is our raw merged. And then this is the link shading merged. So you can see that our link shading worked really well this time. Sometimes it takes a couple of iterations for the link shading to work. You may want to play around with exposure times, uh, different areas of the sample. And um, when all else fails, I will use a chroma plastic neon slide as a reference. And you have to be really careful with that slide because it is very bright and you need to turn down the intensity and the exposure time. But for very difficult samples, I find that that is the only thing that really works.